Assalamu alaikum family. I saw this video and I mean whenever I see video like this, it increases me in faith because it's a form of advice telling me to be strong in whatever I'm doing and also it serves as an advice that if there is something I'm doing and I know I'm doing it wrongly, it's time for me to change because I might not know. Let's watch the video, guys. I used to see grave in my dream. And I used to see a burning, blazing grave in my dream. And I used to see myself in that grave. I just didn't see the empty grave. I saw myself. And I was like, this is the sign that Allah is giving that if I do not change, this is what my end is. And you know, that is something that got me a uh, little anxiety. And when I changed, I know that... Now how I am, at least the way I look, I'm not going to go back and remove my abaya and throw it away. I'm like, I'm, I just removed, I bought a lot of scarves before, you know, I just bought the scarves. And then I remember I got up the next morning, I put this cap inside, I wore the scarf and I'm like, I will inshallah never remove this ever again. When a man dies, his janaza is covered in three cloth. But when a woman dies, her janaza is covered in five cloth. And what was the moral of the story of that? It's like because Allah doesn't like even a dead woman's body where people can see her shape. And also, even if you're dead, Allah covers your head, the woman. And it was so beautifully written that you don't want to be, you don't want your last day to be the first day of your hijab. And that is something that uh, <clears throat> touched me so deep. I'm sorry, sir. I saw this video and for a moment I paused and I said, Alhamdulillah. And secondly, I felt the breakdown this lady went through. Mostly we say life is a gift, but we seem not to understand what kind of gift is life. Think about it for a moment. What if she did not get the opportunity to repent? This is the reason why whatever we are doing, it's not about the sin you are committing or it's not about what you are doing, but you don't know when death will strike. That is the reason why wherever you are stepping, you make your preparations ahead of time make sure you are always prepared you are always ready for that alhamdulillah she got the opportunity and now she has repented and has made a bold decision that i am not going to go back i'm going to stay in this hijab for the rest of my life such a beautiful analysis and the things she said you want to be in Jannah together with Fatima radiallahu anha Asiya Maryam Bilkis Khadija Aisha let's name them we want to be in Jannah with them Meanwhile, the sacrifices they made, we are not ready to make that same sacrifices. Let's think for a moment, are we for real? We are not ready to make the sacrifices. Meanwhile, when we say, may Allah give us Jannah, we all say, Amen. Jannah is not achieved on a silver platter, no. We have to work for it. And Allah has given us all the guidelines, the things that when you do, He is going to give you Jannah. And the things that when you do is otherwise. During the time of Fatima radiallahu and her when she was about to pass away, she said she don't want, even after her death, she don't want people to see her body, the shape of her body. This is the time the idea of coffin was introduced and she was put into it. That's why when we carry coffin around, you don't see the body. If when they get to the grave, they just take away the body and bring back the coffin. This is such a person and you are alive today. Wear the hijab. 
I mean very light material where it cover yourself you said no even her dead body she was very concerned about it and made preparations for it what preparations are we making for ourselves this is what we should think about whenever we are making decisions and telling people it's my choice the Quran didn't say that we should wear hijab the Quran didn't say it's compulsory giving all sorts of excuses meanwhile we want to be in general with these same people may Allah give us understanding and may Allah guide us all assalamu alaikum family